Hi, teacher Marcus. I'm Ashley Ang. I am Adeline Tay. I'm Caroline Tay. And, and we, we are, are the question, question marks. We chose our neurons is because neurons are easy to find and easy to buy. And we also saw our younger siblings doing the neuron experiment. It was interesting how they saw the neurons turning into beetles. The purpose of our experiment is to find out the best food to feed our neurons. This can reduce our time waiting for neurons to grow and let our neurons be more healthy. Okay. The hypothesis that we have is what food can help neurons grow faster. We think that neurons will love carrots like us and they will grow faster with it. We also think that neurons won't like coffee grounds because it is bitter. Now I'd like to share some information about the neuron. Neurons are the larva of the darkening beetle. The darkening beetle is is a hollow metric insect. Meaning, meaning it has four life stages, eight larva, pupa, and adult. The, the new worm is a darkening beetle in lava form where it remains for 90 to 140 days before turning into a pupa. The new worms are hatched from white bean shaped eggs that are 1.27 millimeters in length. When they are first born, the larvae are white but will turn either honey yellow or yellow brown within a couple of days. The new worm, when mature, will measure 3.18 centimeters long. Their body are smooth and hard with a shiny appearance. Neurons go through an egg lava, pupa, and adult stages, and their life cycle is usually completed in about three to six months. Adult neurons return only live about 30 to 70 days, depending on the temperature and suitability of their habitat. Where do neurons live? Their normal habitat is dark, cool, and moist location where there is suitable food and shelter areas such as under rocks, logs, in animal waste accumulations and in moist, stock grain storage areas. The materials that we prepared for this experiment are new worms, carrots, coffee grounds, oats, cheese, plastic containers, gloves, rulers and forceps. The procedure of this experiment the first step of this experiment is we prepared four containers and added carrots, cheese, oat, and coffee grounds respectively. Then we measured the length of 12 new ones and recorded the readings. Then we added in three new ones into each container carefully using four sets. Then we placed four containers with new ones in a cool, dry place. Avoid direct sunlight. Then measure the length of the new ones every two days. Record the length of the three new ones in each container to get its average growth length. Replenish the food every seven days. Repeat step five to seven until day 14, then record readings, record observations. This picture here is the new ones that ate carrots. And this picture is how we measured the new ones. It's a bit hard to measure the new ones because they'll keep moving around. So once they stop, they quickly they quickly take the ruler and measure it. Then this one is our experiment. This is the coffee grass, the carrots, the cheese, and the oats. This is where we store all the new ones in a dark place that there still is a bit of sunlight and it's not very hot. And then the result of the experiment is here is the chart, the growth chart for the new ones that ate carrots, they grew from 1.5 centimeters to 2.5 centimeters in 14 days. But the new ones that ate oats, they grew from 1.5 centimeters to 2.2 centimeters in 14 days. The new ones that ate cheese grew from 1.5 centimeters to 1.7 centimeters in 14 days. Whilst the new ones that ate coffee grounds grew from 1.5 centimeters to 1.8 centimeters. This is the result of the experiment. Using this chart, you can compare the different food that you will eat and see how fast. 
the news in carrot grew the faster, followed by oats, coffee ground, then finally cheese. The conclusion of this experiment is we learned that newborns prefer eating carrot followed by oats as they grow faster by consuming carrots and oats. Newborns do not like cheese and coffee grounds as it makes them grow slower compared to carrots and oats. Foods that are rich in vitamins like carrots and juicy can help newborns to grow faster. Our extra information is that newborns like grains, fresh vegetables like carrots, lettuce, onion skins, broccoli, grace based products, fruits, fruit, oats, peeling of vegetables and coffee grounds. Mules hate meat or fish, cheese, butter, greasy food, animal waste, spicy food, salty foods, and citrus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I am very impressed of your research, okay? The way you conduct the experiment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very professional. I like it a lot, okay? Now, before I ask the questions, okay, I'm just curious, do you have the mealworm with you? No. No, okay. Did you throw away the mealworm already or not? No, no. Still, you're still keeping, right? You're yeah. still keeping the mealworm? Okay. Now, here come my questions, okay? Here come my questions. You have four different containers, correct? Yeah, then you use three mealworm or one mealworm only. Three, three in each container. Three, three in each container. Is does all the mealworm same size from the start? Yes. Why you want to find the same size? So that it is going to be a fair experiment. Okay, very good. So after fourteen days, you measure all the mealworm, correct? And get the average on each container. Okay, the result that you told me is the average, is it? Yes. Okay, very good. But any chance any minimum turned into a beetle already? No. no. Okay, you still continue keep up. Uh, hopefully, okay. yeah, hopefully they will turn into a beetle. Okay, yeah, in the future. Okay, in the future. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to ask, why you think mealworm prefer carrot? Because it's sweet and juicy. It's sweet. Okay. All right. Any other? Uh, if you want to add more answer, also can one. Yeah. Okay. Any other answer you guys want to add? It's sweet, juicy, and crunchy. Mm -hmm. So maybe the new ones will like it more. All right. All right. Very good. Very good. Hmm. Why you this? Why you guys decide, decided to test with cheese? I'm very curious. Because we went when we did research, we noted it said that new ones don't like cheese, so we wanted to prove it. Wow. Okay. 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 Very good. Okay. Beside the length of the mealworm, okay. What else you can measure the growth? The, the weight. Okay, very good. I like your answer. Very good. Your, all the answer is on point. Okay. Now, did you put the same amount of food or not? Yes. What is the amount? Did you how do you measure the amount? Using the uh, Waiting, the waiting. Oh, so that yeah. means you put the same amount of gram of food, is it? Every yes. time? Yes. Do I know what is the gram? Five, five gram. Every time five gram. Lah. Yes. Why you have to do that again? So that it's a fair experiment or else maybe some will eat more. Okay. All right. I like all the way you guys answer all the questions on point, yeah, on the mark, on the dot, and answer with confidence. I feel that you guys really know what you guys is doing, okay? Yeah, I have a high confidence in this group, okay? I have a high confidence in this group, okay? So, can I add some suggestion? Can I add some suggestion? Yeah. All right. Now, my suggestion is change your title. Just if you change the title, the whole project will be very, very perfect. Okay. What do you mean by change the title? Mealworm alone, I don't know what you want to do. Okay. But if you put the title, what is mealworm's favorite food? 
Ah, it sounds better, right? It made me curious, you know. It made me curious. It's the, if the title Mill Room Alone, I don't know what you want to do about it. You understand? You understand what I mean? Okay. So on that day, okay. Now, if your group selected to ground number two, you have to bring everything to Pusat Sang the Gara. Okay. To show to everybody, who is everybody? You have young children. You have children like same as your age. You have adult children like teenagers, other mommy and daddies, other grandma and grandpa. Okay. I want you to tell everyone what you find out. Can or not? How you conduct the experiment because your research is very good. How you conduct the experiment, okay, and tell the result. If can bring your mealworm, bring everything, okay. I will give you a table, all right. Then you can present your experiment to everybody. Okay. Can or not? Okay. Yes. Job well done. This group, job well done. Thank you very much. I hope to see you face to face. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.